Hi, my name is Ron. I'm one of the instructors here with the New York Jazz Academy for the summer workshop. I'm a professional musician. I play with the Duke, El with the Dizzy Gillespie All Star Big Band, with the Count Basie Orchestra, along with the Village Vanguard and the Vanguard Jazz Orchestra, among others. And one of the greatest joys I have is being able to go ahead and work with people of all ages to be able to give them the joy, love, and passion of jazz music. In this case, for us, we get to go ahead and get with students from all over the world and allow them the opportunity to be able to go ahead and work on three particular songs for a week and then work up how they can perform them. We help them with their theory, we help them with their improvisation, and we help them to go ahead and open up their creativity. So by the time we get to the end of the week, we got some people here who sound as good as most professional ensembles. Anyway, I'm having a blast doing this. I've been doing this for over 45 years, and it's one of the greatest passions of my life. jazz piano to get better. I started to play piano more over the last couple of years. I hadn't played in over 20 years and started to take some lessons with some jazz pianists down there irregularly, but I never got to play with anyone. And I really felt like I was stuck playing the same thing again and again and not getting better. I'd get a lesson and then nothing would happen because I'd get busy doing other things and so I wanted a more intensive experience and that's what this is. The things they're telling me are helping things get put together and the other thing is it's really fun to play with other people. I've been a student at the New York Jazz Academy uh, in various uh, capacities in the last uh, year or so. I played the uh, alto and the saxophone or I'm learning to play the alto saxophone and I found the uh, instructors to be uh, top-notch musicians in and of themselves. But I've also found them to be great teachers. Uh, that combination has been very special to me. It gives me confidence that they know what they're talking about. And it gives them an ability to connect with students at all levels, as I've observed, and help them uh, capture uh, the lessons that they want to learn in order to grow as musicians. This is my third week at Jazz Academy. I did two last year and this is my first this year. Uh, I think one of the great things about it is that you're just getting a lot of personal time with all the uh, professionals. I'm Isaac and I actually had a similar experience. I did two weeks last year and this is my first week this year. And I think from the theory to the improv, it's all just a really great experience. Studying jazz in New York City is really a significant and profound experience. We think about the legacy of this music, so much of it came from New York. Um, so many of the important recordings, the important clubs, places like the Village Vanguard and the Blue Note, uh, years ago the Village Gate, um, and now more, uh, some of the more contemporary clubs like Smalls and Mesro, as well as uh, Dizzy's Club Coca-Cola, Jazz at Lincoln Center. So to be in these venues hearing this music live is such an important aspect of studying the music. Also being around the musicians who create it is such an important experience. Uh, because really this music is passed down through mentorship and stewardship. So being around some of the legendary musicians that are still alive today here in New York and uh, playing all the time is really very special.
rapper. I'm a singer here in the New York Jazz Academy. And I came, uh, I didn't know what to expect about the Academy. I was like, how it's going to be. And then when I came here, it was the best place I ever studied. Uh, the teachers are absolutely great. I'm learning a lot of things and I'm like, I don't know, I really want to come back here. I really want to work so hard to come back here because I think that it's, I don't know, I can find better place to study. My name is Mike Webster and I am the on-site director for the Jazz Academy uh, Summer Intensive Program. And um, I've been with the Jazz Academy since the very beginning, which was 2009. Um, I love teaching with the Jazz Academy. For me, it gives me an opportunity to work uh, with students um, in a sort of in a really creative way. We tend to tailor our classes and our programs to individuals as we get to know them uh, throughout the course of each week. It's a very open place, um, and I found that as soon as I came here, from the first day, like everyone made an effort to get to know you as a person and as a like musician, and they really like match individual needs. It's also fun to see like improvement because actually like over one week here, like you, you'd be surprised how much you actually do learn. I didn't know what to expect because I never sang jazz before. I sang a lot of styles, but not jazz. And then when I came here, I found the greatest teachers I ever met. Um, things that we don't have the same in Spain and I really found my place here in the New York Jazz Academy. I found my people, I found my place and I learned more than ever in my entire life. I really didn't thought that it was going to be like this but I'm absolutely happy with this school. Really I am. <laughs> My name is Mark and I'm from Florida and I came all the way up to the New York Jazz Academy uh, as an alto sax player because I was really struggling to get a handle on how to improvise and these guys are magnificent. The teaching is so clear and um, uh, helpful and a way into the skill sets that you're going to need. And um, I'm at the end of week two and I feel like I'm going home with a treasure trove of things I can put right to use. Ron McClure. I live in New York City. I uh, started teaching in ensembles about two years ago. Javier Arau is a terrific organizer and, uh, and a great guy and a great musician and he keeps this academy going and expanding constantly. And I've learned a lot from his fabulous faculty of uh, people that are considerably younger than I am. But, I mean, they had more experience teaching really young kids. So I've taught at the college level for like 45 years. So I, I get people who are basically uh, been playing for a while. But here we have people that, I mean, go as young as like 
12 years old. I mean, and sometimes from other countries, and you really need to dig deeply to uh, find a way to, con to contact them and communicate with them about music. So I, I'm having a great time uh, doing all this. It's, uh, and it feels right to, after being in New York for 54 years, it feels good to sort of pay back for what this industry has done for me. A lot of it is more about the music and serving the music and kind of hearkening back to how people used to learn before jazz education came around as a thing in the last 20, 30 years. People used to learn on the bandstand. faculty of, of top New York jazz musicians um, ranging uh, you know from from some of the younger up-and-coming musicians to some uh, some older legendary musicians that are uh, very involved uh, teaching uh, includes jazz improv jazz theory ensembles I really didn't expect this much but that all the teachers were great as a teacher and um, as musicians too mm -hmm. and um, I'm definitely gonna come back Hi, I'm JJ from Costa Rica. Um, I've been playing drums for 18 years now and mostly from a rock background. So uh, jazz is, has always been one of my favorite kinds of music, mm -hmm. but it's intimidating. They provided a safe environment to, to, to try new things out and learn this language. One of the things that really impresses me is the quality of the, of the teachers. When you walk into the room and you know you hear that or some people think that jazz musicians it just comes to them naturally but I can see that it's really quite a science and these guys are so versatile they teach so so nicely that you don't if you make a mistake it's not like they say you made a mistake they say that was good but try it a little bit differently so um, I think everybody gets to relax and learn more that way. Everything is um, playing based. Uh, so even the theory classes, uh, while we are talking about theory and we're taking chords apart and figuring out the correct scales and all that kind of stuff but we're doing it everybody has their instruments and we're playing so you're making that instant connection with your instrument uh, that you need to be an improviser um, so I, I really like that and I also like the fact that the whole week is repertoire based so students come and they're in an ensemble and their ensemble is working on three or four songs and those are the songs that are the vehicle that the student uses for the entire week to learn to improvise. So everything is very uh, focused I instead of, you know, playing uh, certain songs in an ensemble and then learning some jazz theory in another class that might not even apply directly to those tunes. You're learning the theory that uh, applies right to those tunes and you're learning how to play them, what are the best strategies to, to use to play them. So I think it's a really common sense way to teach jazz and to learn jazz. <laughs> people 
people coming from all around the world with different backgrounds and uh, cultures. You're not only studying and playing with these musicians and educators, but also we see students hanging out at jam sessions with teachers and uh, enjoying the music scene. And it's amazing because this place is so open. It's just um, by being a part of it, you end up uh, having so many different types of experiences. Such a sense of um, community and opportunities come to travel and exchange with other students from different parts of the world, uh, like China, Cuba, or a festival in Panama. I'm gonna make a formal invitation to the Panama Jazz Festival this coming January. Please, don't lose it. Please, don't miss it. New York Jazz Academy, we are waiting for you in Panama. Come and have fun. genuine this place it's so genuine it's really all about the music and uh, and this beautiful art form <laughs> special aspect of jazz is it, you take the material and then you make it your own in tremendous creative ways and the sky is the limit you know exactly what can happen with a song in jazz <laughs>
already sound like yourself and that really, really matters. The next step is to just continue to develop your tool set so you can sound more and more true to yourself and you can bring out what it is inside of you that needs to be said through improvisation. That's not magical. It sounds magical, it seems magical, it's really not. This is something that can be taught. You just have to be taught by people who know how to help you get to that stage. Being a part of this faculty is, is a very special experience for me because the way that the Jazz Academy works is that there's so much that they offer in their various programming, but also so much that they offer through the way that the teachers interact with the students. It's not a teacher lecturing to a group of students, it's teachers actually playing with the students and uh, having the students learn by example. And being a part of that is really something very special. Another great thing about the Jazz Academy is they have so many different kinds of programs that they can offer. If you really want to work on your theory, you can do that. If you really want to play in a big band, you can do that. If you want to play in a small group, you can do that. So you're getting a certain kind of assessment coming into the program, regardless of what program you end up signing up for, and you're really dealt with on an individual level to be placed in uh, a class or an ensemble that's appropriate for uh, your growth as a musician. The biggest thing I would like to see from musicians coming into the program is an openness and a willingness. Openness to whatever you're going to experience from uh, the teacher or teachers that you're going to interact with and a willingness to really surrender yourself to that experience. turn oh, yes. I get so lucky what you got oh and for the last part of it is that you should all learn to play what you sing and sing what you play so if you find yourself going tra la 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 then perhaps you need to go scooby oop and we thank you very little